All right, today we're gonna uncover a tiny, almost fit-in trick for a tool that, let's be honest, a lot of us use every single day, Proxmox. And it's one of those small details that, once you see it, well, it might just change how you document your virtual machines forever. You know that feeling, right? That moment when you realize you've been doing something the hard way for years, and then somebody points out this simple little feature that was sitting right there, right under your nose the whole time, it's not about some complex new tech. It's just about that pure aha moment. And that is exactly the story we're diving into today. So yeah, we're calling this first part a caveman's light switch, because that's honestly what this discovery felt like to the whole community. A simple, obvious feature hiding inside one of the most familiar tools in the entire home lab world. And here it is, the whole secret, right here on this slide. The entire revelation boils down to this. You can hide information inside Proxmox notes just by wrapping it in a standard HTML comment tag. I know, it sounds ridiculously simple, but as we're about to see, the implications are surprisingly awesome. So how was this even found? You know, it wasn't some big research project or anything. It was a completely accidental discovery by a user who was just going about their day, you know, setting up a VM and jotting down some notes. And this slide, this just illustrates the magic perfectly. Okay, look at the box on the left, the one that says in the editor. You see your regular notes, and then right after, a secret password wrapped up in an HTML comment. Now look at the box on the right, which you actually see in the UI. The comments and the password inside it has completely vanished. It's still there in the code, but it's not visible. So how in the world does this work? Is it a bug? Nope, it's actually a feature hiding in plain sight. It's a perfect little three-step chain of logic. First, what a lot of people don't realize is that Proxmox Notes actually renders Markdown. Second, Markdown is cool because it lets you just embed raw HTML right inside it. And third, it's a fundamental rule of HTML that web browsers simply do not display anything you put inside a comment tag. Boom. Now, here's where the story gets really fun. The community's reaction. It wasn't just about the trick itself. It was about this shared moment of, like, total surprise and, let's be honest, a little bit of embarrassment. This was the first wave of shock. And it's hilarious. A huge number of really experienced users chimed in, basically admitting they had been completely ignoring the notes feature for years. So for them, the big discovery wasn't the trick. It was the tool itself. And then came the second wave the collective facepalm. So many people confessed to pasting temporary passwords, API keys, all kinds of sensitive info directly into their notes in plain text, never even thinking that there was a way to hide it from view. It was this totally shared, relatable, oh man, we've all been there moment. The whole thing got so relatable, it even resurrected ancient internet history. Somebody joked that the original poster should have used the infamous Hunter2 password, which, of course, sparked a whole thread of people pretending they couldn't see it. That's when you know you've got a classic tech forum moment on your hands. Okay, so beyond all the laughs, what's the actual practical use here? Well, this is where this simple little trick starts to evolve into a surprisingly powerful, tiny documentation system that's built right into every single one of your VMs. The practical uses are just immediate. You can finally keep your UI clean for screenshots that you might share online. You can store really detailed setup steps without creating this giant wall of text. You can tuck away those temporary setup credentials. And the best part is, as one user put it, it's a huge quality of life improvement that requires literally zero effort. And the discovery didn't even stop there. The original poster also shared another little job. If you wrap your visible notes in an HTML pre-tag, that's for pre-formatted text, everything inside it lines up in this beautiful, clean, mono-spaced font. It's absolutely perfect for IP addresses, terminal commands, anything that needs precise formatting. And this slide shows the two tricks working together in perfect harmony. On the left, in the editor, you've got the pre-tag wrapping an IP address with the initial password hidden away inside a comment. And on the right, what you see in the UI is just the clean, perfectly aligned IP address. This basically turns that simple little notes field into a powerful mini documentation system for every single VM. Okay, this part is really, really important. We have to talk about what this trick is not. Because as soon as people started talking about hiding passwords, you know, the security-minded folks in the community, they rightly raised their hands. Let's be absolutely crystal clear here. This is a trick for visual cleanliness, period. It is not a security feature. 
Its entire job is to stop you from accidentally leaking a temporary password in a screenshot you share online. That's what it's for, and it does that job beautifully. It is not, and will never be, a replacement for a password vault. So, here are the P security takeaways. Anyone who can right-click and view source on the page can see that text in the comment. It is not encrypted. And let's be realistic, if an attacker has access to your Proxmox hypervisor, well, they can just read the raw config file anyway. Your notes are the least of your problems at that point. Use a real password manager for your long-term secrets. So, why did this tiny, simple tip resonate so strongly with so many people? What's the big takeaway here? Because it's really about more than just a hidden comment tag. It's because the discovery hit this perfect sweet spot. It was immediately useful. It was funny because of that collective, how did we miss this moment? And it tapped right into that universal tech experience of realizing a tool you thought you knew inside and out still had secrets to share. And this quote just sums it all up so beautifully. It's a fantastic reminder that progress isn't always about massive, flashy new software releases. Sometimes the most delightful improvements come from just rediscovering the simple, elegant potential that was already built into the tools we use every single day. So that kind of leaves us with a final thought, doesn't it? This whole story started with one person finding a hidden light switch in Proxmox. And it just makes you wonder, what other simple, game-changing features are hiding in plain sight in the software you use every day? What's your light switch 